what is up everybody and welcome back to my channel it is your girl silver lux and don't forget to subscribe to earn yourself a yummy oreo cookie in today's video we are going to be discussing the bell bearing hunters be mindful that there are a total of four bell bearing hunters and they drop significant items but the ones that i'm going to be focusing on today is the bell bearing hunters that drop bones for item crafting which will make your arrows and the other bell bearing hunter who is located in Kaled, who will drop the gravity stones. Now to me, I feel like these two bell bearing hunters are definitely worth the kill and they will give you amazing items to craft with. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. Alrighty guys, so let's talk about the benefits of having unlimited bone arrows and unlimited gravity stones. Not only can we craft whatever kind of arrow we need, we don't have to be farming out there in the streets no more like you won't have to kill the animals i mean you still can when you run out of rooms but isn't this great to know that you can just come back here buy the bones that you need go into your item crafting menu i mean you get the point now as far as the gravity stones i know some of you are like eh, i don't know about that one and honestly the bell hunter and caleb that that's the hardest bell hunter barrier dude like he's the hardest but i did some tests and i honestly feel like the gravity stones are worth it the only downside that I see to the gravity stones is that you only can carry 10 at a time and it uses FP. So I don't know, maybe for my perspective on my build, I don't know if I see the benefits, but I absolutely love the combination of like the arrows and the gravity stones. I think that's amazing because you kind of can bait with the arrow and then boink them with the gravity stone like i don't know i just thought that was super amazing now i'm not saying i'm not going to use it but just keep that in mind that it does use your fp moving right along because killing the bell hunter and kayla is super hard now keep in mind that all bell bearing hunters they pretty much do the same move set but when i tell you the one in kayla is so hard at the isolated merchant shack and i had spent two weeks Yes, two weeks trying to kill this guy. And everyone kept telling me that no, I couldn't summon a friend. That is not true. So somebody tells you that, do not believe them because you can summon for help. It's just a certain way that you need to do it. So what you wanna do is get to the shack, set it for nighttime, sit at the grace, get back up, put the summoning sign down, and then summon your friend. And that's how I did it. It worked, it works. Proof is in the pudding, you guys proof is in the pudding don't let i can't believe for two weeks people told me that i couldn't do that all right so now let's get into the move set so he does do a move where you have to jump back he does a gravity grab and then he also has the gravity sword swing i'm making up his move sets at this point but yeah that's what i'm gonna call them <laughs> and you need to watch out for all of them and we use scarlet rot and that seemed to work really well our teamwork was working he also does a side slam jump you need to watch out for that by jumping back. That's like the best tactic, especially for the grab. You want to jump back as well and try to use the area to your advantage, you guys. But be mindful. We are in Caleb and you guys will see exactly what happened to us because, y'all, we got the dog involved in the fight. Y'all, my friend Creeper was like, yo, the dog was on me like crazy. And it's just, it was so random. <laughs> but yeah, um, I want to make sure I cover everything for this fight. Y'all, I had so many whiffs because he was so focused on Creeper. I think it's because he was hitting him with bleed. <laughs> I don't know what, what, what he did, but like Creeper hit him with Scarlet Rot and bleed. And I don't know, he just was not focused on me. So every time I went to go hit him, it was just like I kept whiffing. <laughs> I like no it was really bad but yeah this took us a, a while but we we didn't have to do it that many times I think we ended up doing it just twice watch out for the spinning sword move um for this move it was really hit or miss for me even if I got at the side of him I still would get hit so I try to like stay out of the facility of the spinning sword and you guys yeah look at creeper hitting him with bleed finally one of my hits went through but the second one didn't i hope you guys enjoyed this video i can't wait to see what you guys think once you get these bells what you're gonna do with them is your life gonna be easier on elden ring and i will see you guys in my next video don't forget to like comment and subscribe more content more content bye and i'll see you in my next one